Right, so MS Dhoni needs to play a captain's knock here. 199 matches. Look at that average. Unbelievable. And strike rate. Right, one run and a wicket. A good one for Australia. That over. It's four for 179. Good bowling. They're pushing. Xavier Doherty covered good territory. Could do nothing to stop it. Adoni on five. India, four for 187. 12 overs to go. They're going to push for two. I'm not sure it's on. Oh, he's coming. And they're there. He's really quick. This guy who strolls around the place all day. Sometimes you wonder if he's with it in the game. He's with it, all right. Four for 209. In the dressing room afterwards. Yeah, you've got to bowl up and straight, haven't you? At the end, you've got to bowl Yorkers. Another two. It shows that if you hit it the right pace into the outfield, there's still twos on offer. There'll be two here. Nice placement from Dhoni. And it's forced the run out, or the uh, misfield, I should say. It's Peter Forrest. And it's eight from the over. That's what they need. Four for 230. He's got to want to do it. And there's uh, a good opportunity. Direct hit. This will be interesting. There was no hesitation in the running, though. I think that might have got Dhoni home. Ricky Ponning, that direct hit. We've seen that a few times over the last 15 years. More often than not, we've seen this out. Dhoni's home easily. He is really quick. Dhoni, he's the hitter. He's so good in these situations. He's got an ability to find the boundary when he wants it. This run out really come back to hurt the Aussies. I, I sense that Danny may have said to Jadeja, you hit. I, I'm going to try and be here at the end. It's not trying too much and I come back for two. This is brilliant stuff from Danny. Just the way he worked it into the onside. So 12 balls remaining. Mackay has been bowling good Yorkers. And he's gone down the ground. I think it's massive. He has cleared it. That is a phenomenal hit from Dhoni. Maybe he's timed it to perfection. Unbelievable cricket. Really unbelievable. It needed a Yorker. It wasn't a Yorker. He is so powerful in the arms. And that one has gone to the long boundary down the ground. Now that has changed things. Well, that is huge. It, you can't explain how big that is. That's probably the biggest boundary in Australia there. And he's cleared it comfortably when he needed 12 or 4 balls. And he lay back. All his weight was on the back foot. And Clint McKay could not believe how pure that stroke was. He has not only found the rope, he's cleared the fence. That's gone about 130 metres. <laughs> All right, 6 from 3. Just hit another one of those, MS. Yep, they're not home yet, though. That's a massive, 112. It's the longest one we've seen oh, for a few I years. Think it was 130. <laughs> they're not home yet, though. They're not home yet. Still six to get off three. Here we go. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, he's out. It's a no ball, though. They're coming back for two. It's all happening at the Adelaide Oval. No ball on height. It was a full toss, too high above the waist. That's why the arm is out. So that will be three. They ran two, plus the no ball. That's three. And should be three off the remaining three balls. Now, Donny's probably saying, isn't it a free hit? No, no, no free hit. <laughs> above the waist, you get one for the no ball, and you get two for the two you ran. So Tony's just making absolutely sure he knows what's required here. No doubt about uh, the fact there's a no ball. Uh, the hearts of the Indians there would have sunk when it went straight down the throat of uh, Warner. So there we are. They come back for the second. So now they've got to get three of three balls to win.
Well, it's India now, isn't it? And Emma Stoney is a genius. He's taken it into the 50th over. You thought he might have been just a little bit too lacklustre. Didn't go for the big shots. He just has the ultimate confidence. Turns it round. There's going to be two. It might even be four. Dave Warner's chasing after it. Flicks it in, but they'll run three, won't they? And that's victory to India. Two balls remaining. That is a phenomenal run chase. A well played India. Well played the skipper. Yeah, he's one of the great players in uh, pressure situations. There's no doubt about that. The whole Indian team uh, coming out onto the ground. They know their captain uh, absolutely relishes situations like this. Oh boy, is there any uh, doubt who's man of the match here? Well, he's cool, isn't he? And there's Stoney. Needed 12 off four balls, six, three, three. That's how he went about it. Got a bit of help with a no ball, but that six was just brilliant. Under pressure to hit a ball that well, that far, uh, is a real talent. A mile over the fence, 112 metres. It is one of the best shots you'll ever see when a team needs it. Absolutely phenomenal. So India have now won two, lost one.